All right, let's go to London now and speak to Benedict de Pavio. Benedict, we were just seeing there with Catherine Norris Trent what the situation is like in Sweden with regards to the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, here in France, we're expecting some new measures to be announced tomorrow, Friday. There are going to be some changes where you are in England from Monday, I understand. Tell us uh, more about what it's like where you are. Yes, so here in London, in England, new rules are indeed being introduced as of next Monday, the 14th of September. They were announced by the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson in a special COVID briefing, the first since July, it has to be said. So, uh, rule of six is what everybody needs to remember, and that is that gatherings of more than six people will be banned as of Monday. Indoors and outdoors, there are exemptions, schools, uh, offices, uh, for funerals and for marriages, for example. Uh, the limit will be enforceable by law. That has been quite controversial here. Uh, the fact that there are fines, there have been fines that can be imposed, uh, but it's been quite a complicated message, really, and the Prime Minister, indeed the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, yesterday admitted that their message had been confused and complicated. I think that's particularly, you'll excuse the helicopter above me, I think it's particularly because the United Kingdom, of course, comprises four nations, of which England is just one. Now, um, there has also been controversy about testing, uh, the fact that uh, there aren't enough tests available, that people have to travel sometimes long distances. The Health Secretary in Parliament moments ago said that, uh, on average, people didn't have to travel more than 6.4 miles and that they're going to be opening even more uh, testing centres. Uh, as far as social premises and venues are concerned, also new rules coming in, including pubs and restaurants, they will be legally required uh, to test and trace information from customers and keep the details for 21 days. So this is very much to reduce the rising curb in infections that have neared 3,000 a day. Uh, the death toll uh, per day is still low, ranging between 8 to 12 a day, uh, probably because it's being caught earlier and there is more testing. As far as Christmas, journalists here were asking if Christmas had been cancelled. The Prime Minister said it was still too far away. But there is real concern across the UK, apart from the health damage, also the economic damage that this pandemic is, is having, uh, that the social distancing restrictions are really going to still be in place at Christmas. So uh, a lot of questions still, and these new rules certainly in England coming in as of Monday. Benedict, you mentioned some 3,000 new cases being recorded uh, there. That uh, not very much relatively, of course, compared to France, uh, where on Wednesday more than 8,500 were recorded. But I understand the authorities are uh, saying that the UK isn't that far behind France. Is that right? Forgive, there's the noise of the helicopter. Were you asking me about the death toll? No, the number of new infections, just how the trend compares to countries like France and Spain. In oh. the UK, it's not quite as bad, is it? No. Um, at the moment, it is nearing 3,000. So it is not at all as bad um, as in France. And, of course, that is a comparison uh, that was uh, made yesterday. Interesting that Downing Street had stopped in July comparing itself to other countries. Because if we do compare uh, the overall death toll for similar populations between the United Kingdom, uh, so all four nations uh, here in the UK, with France, for similar populations of about 66 to 67, million people, the death toll in France is far lower. It is something like, thir currently, I understand, 32, 33,000. Whereas here, uh, it is at least 43,000 deaths. So, um, as I said, it's not just that it's the health damage, but it's also the economic damage. And the fact that the government has um, repeatedly, in the last few weeks, trying to be telling people, go back to work, go back to work. But people really are not confident enough with the measures in place. And the the great majority of people in the United Kingdom are still working from home. All right, thank you very much indeed for that update from London. Benedict Pavio reporting.